Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I know I'm looking very festive and it's because I'm super excited because I have my new boxy charm, which is the big one. What is this one even called? I forget. Is this boxy Lux? I think it's called boxy Lux. So anyway, I have my big box. I have not opened it yet, so we're going to get into that, but we're going to first talk about the products that I tried last month from the regular boxy charm and I'll let you guys know my thoughts, my opinions on these products and whether I feel like it was worth the $21. So let's start with my favorite product out of this bunch. This doesn't belong in there. What are you doing in there? This is the Ace Beauty, the Grandi Grandiose palette. This palette, I thought for sure, I opened it and I'm like, oh my gosh, these colors are so bold. I thought for sure I was not going to enjoy it because the colors seemed pretty bold for me. But actually, after I tried it, I have to admit, this palette is really, really good. My favorite color in here is Rose. I have that on my lids today. I love to just put that on with my, my rubber little brush that I had, the one that I purchased from Sephora. It works so well with that brush. The color Myrtle is beautiful as well. The color Cinnamon works great for like doing your crease work. I just think this palette is so spectacular. The Jasmine shade, if you're looking for a bright, bold highlight for like the inner corner, oh my gosh, guys, let me show you how bold and bright this is. Just a little bit on my finger here and then watch. Like, look. See that? Oh my gosh, like I'm gonna have to tap it out because that's just too much. It's crazy how bold and bright that is. Do you see it? Like that is some intense highlight. If you're looking for a good intense highlight, this one is the one. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I love this palette. The pigmentation is amazing. It stays on my eyelids. I have had no issues with that. I think this is an awesome palette. Let me see what the value of this was because if this was not too expensive, I'm going to look on their website and see what else they have that they offer to purchase because I love this. Let's see. $24.99. I mean, seriously, I will be looking on their website to see what else they have because this is really, really good. If their other palettes live up to the same quality, I will be purchasing more. So I do love this. It doesn't have a mirror in it. So if that does bother you, that might you know be one thing that you don't like about it. But I think it's great. It's a simplistic palette. So like there's no fancy packaging or anything. I mean, it looks a little fancier, but it's not. It's just a cardboard packaging. But the colors and pigmentation in here, oh my gosh, they stand alone. They don't need a fancy package to actually make them shout out that they're amazing because these are really, really good. So love this palette. This one will not be leaving my collection whatsoever. Sometimes if I get a palette and I'm just like, it's mediocre, I'll put it to the side and I'll give it to somebody in my family or I'll just get rid of it. So I am keeping this one for sure. It is a very, very good palette. The next thing is, the next favorite out of it would be, oh, these. These are really good. These are the tweezers. These are from Thera. These are really cool because they're dual ended and I had never seen a pair of dual ended tweezers before. I was like, that is very unique. So one end has like the slanted little portion and the other end is very pointy. So if you have those tiny little hairs that you need to get out, you can get them out with these little, little bitty, very pointed ends. And then if you're just trying to pluck regular, you can use the more slanted one. These are very nice. I do love these. I think these were not that expensive either. So I think everything in the box last month was reasonably priced, which is good. These were only 12 bucks. So I think this would be a good little gift to give somebody that like, I mean, everybody can use lash, I mean lashes, everybody can use tweezers. So this would be a good little gift to give to somebody as well. So if you got them in your box and you're not going to use them, pass them on because they are very, very good in my opinion. The next thing is my next favorite. So this would be the Cover FX, the glitter drops. Now I don't like this on my face at all. There's so much glitter in this. I'm like, oh my gosh, no, I do not like that on my skin. It just looks really weird in my opinion to put that much glitter in your skin. I like it okay as like mixed in with your lotion. I think it's okay. I think it'd be better in the summertime. I think in the summertime it'll be beautiful because you put that on your legs with a little pair of shorts on or a skirt or a dress. I think it's gonna look really nice. My favorite way to wear it right now during the winter is actually in my hair. I think I've told you guys before I do this little trick where my hair, if it starts to look a little staticky, I like to take a little bit of lotion on my hands and just kind of rub it through my hair so it kind of calms down the staticiness. So the great thing with doing my hair that way already is I can take a little bit of lotion and just a tiny little bit of this, rub that together and put it through my hair and it gives my hair just the slightest bit of sparkle throughout. It'll be great for like a New Year's Eve party. Just put a little sparkle in your hair. I think it's really pretty like that. So if you're confused on how to use it, I don't think that it was meant for that way. So 
don't know how much you should do it that way, but I'm going to be doing it like that for any kind of events that we have coming up. We have a Christmas party coming up. We have New Year's coming up and Christmas, so I'm going to be definitely putting some in my hair because I'm like, that shouldn't hurt for just those few days. And then I don't have to worry about some sort of hairspray that has the glitter built into it where it makes my hair feel hard and crunchy. This I'm just going to add to my lotion so that it doesn't look crazy and put it in my hair. I think it works really, really well that way. But like I said, I think on your skin, like on your face, it's, it's too much glitter, too much glitter for your skin. The next thing would be the brushes. So we got three brushes from, I think these are Luxie brushes. Yeah, these are Luxie. We have the Mini Round, which is the 141. We have the Mini Tapered, which is the 121. And then we have the Mini Flat Angled, which is the 111. I don't like these. These are not that good. Like the, no, first of all, the brush bristles are so short on here. I feel like I have a hard time using these. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with these? They're so tiny. They're just really hard to work with. The one that's more fluffy, I feel like it does, it doesn't blend. It's too, I don't know. I don't know. It's just hard to describe. It's like a little bit loose or something on the bristles. So it just doesn't really move your, your shadow very well, in my opinion. So I don't think I don't think these are very good so I personally wouldn't purchase these if I'd have like seen them in a store I would have felt them and be like nah these are not for me so I know for me personally this one here which is the mini round I'm like what do you even do with this thing I have no idea so I just don't like these that's not my favorite thing and then the last thing in the box was the Bodyography Makeup Brush Cleanser. So you can use this two ways. You can either just kind of spray it on your brush and then take a cloth and rub it around and then get the brush, get the makeup off your brushes. Or you can spray it on and run your brush under cool water and remove the makeup off that way. I don't like it either way for this because first of all, if you spray it on your brush and just wipe it around on a cloth, it doesn't remove much. I'm like, no, the Cinema Secrets does a much better job. This one here just kind of like wiggles it around a little bit on your brush and just kind of wettens your brush. It doesn't do much for as far as getting the makeup off your brush when you're just doing it with dry. Getting it wet, I didn't see much of a difference either. I'd rather use a bar soap to use to get my brushes clean that way. So this, in my opinion, is no good either. So for me, the brushes and the brush cleanser are no good. I would say for me, I would I don't like those, but that's my opinion. So I don't think that that's gonna be everybody's opinion. Somebody else might say those brushes are absolutely amazing. I just don't like them. And the brush cleanser, for me, it just didn't work very well. The palette was amazing. The uh, tweezers are amazing. The glitter drops can be useful in different ways. So I think all in all, it was an okay box for the two products being bad, but for the palette being great kind of makes up for it in my opinion. So would I pay $21 for these three things that I enjoyed? Still I would, honestly. For the tweezers, the palette, and for the glitter drops, absolutely I'd pay $21 for these things because these are the, the amazing standout products in the box in my opinion. So I would still pay $21 for that. So now we get to move on to the mega box. So we have the BoxyCharm Luxe. So here's what it looks like. I have no idea what's inside of here. Let's see if it tells me how much it weighs or anything on here. I don't think it does. There's no weight. Okay, so I don't know how much it weighs. So I can't tell you that part. Let's cut this open. All right, let's see what kind of goodies we have. I'm a little nervous because this one's a lot more expensive. This one to get this big box, it's $50. So you're gonna pay $20 nine dollars more is that what it is or is it 49 dollars for the box i have no idea honestly i know the normal box is 21 and i think it's a 28 dollars so it's 49 dollars for this box so it should be a very well valued box in my opinion because that's the same price as getting like a what is the one that i love oh my gosh where's my one Fab Fit Fun. I couldn't think. So it should be like a Fab Fit Fun where Fab Fit Fun is right around $50, but that's usually about a $300 value. So that's kind of what I'm expecting in here. So keep our fingers crossed that it's it's that kind of value. <sighs> okay. It says it's the what? It's the what? Sea Sun Boxy Lux. Uh, tag Boxy Lux Sea Sun for a chance to be featured. Okay, and it's got the products on the back of here. This is one giant card. I like that it's all on one card and it's not on a pamphlet. I prefer them being on a card instead of a pamphlet. Just, I don't know why, it just makes me happier. So here's what it looks like inside of the box. I don't really know what all this stuff is, so let's get it started. Let's get it started. All right, so the first thing on top says Glam AF. I don't know what this is, so let's figure it out. I don't know. Glam AF. So this is, what is this? Crime of Beauty. Crimes of Beauty. 
There's something inside of the bag still. Oh, <laughs> it's the little thing, do not eat. I'm like, what is that? So the bag just says Glam AF, and this says Crimes of Beauty. What is this? Um, I'm trying to find this on the paper as well. Crimes of Beauty, wallet, wristlet, and portable charger. Oh, it's a portable charger. Now that's awesome. I like that. That's really cool. How do you use it though? Okay, I see. I'm like, where's the thing? Here's the little area where you charge it up at, and it comes with a cord, so let's see if it works. Will it work for my iPhone? No. It needs a different kind of charger. This is more like a, this is what a USB type of charger. So it's still really cool though. So I'm gonna have to charge this up and see how good it works. That is really cool. So that'd be cool just to keep in this bag. So throw that in your purse and have that available. So it says the ultimate bag for beauty essentials on the go. This durable and lightweight pebble faux leather bag is ideal for the jet setter, the trendsetter, and the girl boss who's always running to her next meeting. The portable charger is compatible with iPhone, Android devices, and can be recharged through any USB port so that you'll never miss an email or an Instagrammable moment again. It says $22, so that's not bad, honestly, for the charger and a bag. I think that's a good value, so I personally would pay. I like the smell of the, the vegan leather. It smells really good. It smells very, I don't know, it just smells good. <laughs> that's weird, right? The next thing, ooh, is from Pretty Vulgar. Look at this, guys. That is so pretty. So here's what it looks like. It's just a little jar here. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I can't wait to see what this is. This is pretty vulgar. The powder room. Ooh, translucent setting powder. Oh. Oh, and it comes with a cute little puff. Look at the little puff on here. Oh, let's see how this is. Let's grab our tweezers from last month and we'll pull the little paper off here. Oh, maybe. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Let's get the paper off. It doesn't smell like anything. Let's give her a little puff here. Puff, puff, puff. Pat, pat, pat. Oh, not bad. I'm gonna have to put some in the lid, I think. Let's try it in the lid here a little bit. <clears throat> it's like a yellow powder, but I'm hoping that once you put it on your skin, it will go translucent, because right now it's just a yellow tint. Ooh, too much, right there. Oh yeah, this is nice. I love the cute little pink pad. I think that is so cute. Okay, so I, that is really nice. I love the jar to it. The jar is really pretty. It looks very, I don't know, it just reminds me of being a girl. So it's just a very girly little con container. I couldn't speak. Uh, this is the Powder Room Translucent Setting Powder. This weightless smooth skin smoothing translucent setting powder locks your makeup into place while enhancing the look of your foundation. The soft puff applicator delivers the right amount of powder, blurring and filling lines and minimizing the appearance of pores. The specially formulated powder absorbs excess oil and reduces shine, leaving behind a soft matte finish. It's $32. I think you can purchase Pretty Vulgar onto Sephora, so if I fall in love with this and I've used it all up, I know I can purchase there at Sephora, so I'm excited about that one. The next thing is from, ooh, Spongel. I love these things. These usually smell so good. It says it's body wash infused. So what these are is like a sponge and they put a bunch of like body wash into it. So you just get that wet, rub it all over your body and you can cleanse yourself in the shower and it's all built into one. These are great for traveling. So I'm gonna hang on to mine for traveling, but I'm gonna open this one up and see what it smells like. Oh my gosh, it smells really good. What is the scent? I. Oh, I don't know what the scent is. It doesn't tell me a scent on here. I don't know. But there's what the shape of it is. It's like a star. It smells really good. Very clean. Almost like lemony fresh type of scent. So the sponge gel body washes infused buffers will cleanse, exfoliate, massage, and nourish. This multi-use buffers dermatologist tested and formulated with extracts of yuzu, elderwise, and vetiver. And this is $20. So Again, I think these are perfect for travel, so I'm probably not gonna talk about this next month because I already know how these work. They work really, really well. What I will do is save this for the next time I go on a trip and then use this instead of taking a body wash with me. I don't have to worry about my body wash spilling. Take this and I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about it at all. The next thing is, oh my gosh, something from Elemis. I think I recently talked to you guys about Elemis because Elemis is a brand that I tried on a cruise ship and I was like, wow, they're so expensive. So I didn't purchase any on the cruise ship just because of their pricing, but I did purchase some through FabFitFun. This is the Pro Collagen Marine Cream Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream for fine lines and wrinkles. It firms, smooths, and hydrates. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what the container looks like. Here's what the actual packaging looks like. So the box is rather big. They always do that. They give you a giant box for a smaller package. 
So let's see what it says about this. It says, LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Clinically proven to reduce the appearance of wrinkles. This, this is everything your skincare routine has been missing. A potent cocktail of seaweeds that has blended with ginkgo biboa, rose, and mimosa to moisturize and visibly improve your fine lines. This ultimate anti-aging cream will leave your skin feeling supple, firm, and radiant. $89, guys. <laughs> this thing is expensive. Holy smokes. All right, let's see what it looks like. Uh, does it have an SPF in it? So it says a day cream. You'd think it'd have an SPF in it, but I don't think. Okay, it doesn't smell like anything, so, which is good because you don't want your skincare to have a whole lot of fragrance to it because then it's not good for your skin. Fragrance on your skin is, like, especially on your face is not good for your skin. No, it doesn't smell like anything, and it seems to be pretty hydrating and not greasy, so we'll have to try that out and see how it works out for the next month when I'm using it. The next thing is something from... <laughs> Luxie. So, as I just told you guys, these Luxie brushes right here, the ones in this box, were not that good in my opinion. So these are the Luxie Complete Face Brushes. Whoa, this has got everything you need though, guys. This is a really good set. Let's see what's all in here. Uh-oh. I can't open. Oh, where's my cutter? Where's my cutter? Where'd it go? All right, I found you. We'll use the little razor thing, slice into it. That'll be easier than me sitting here struggling for 10 minutes and the noise of the package. All right, there, it's gone. So it does come in this box like that. Oh, I like how it slips out. It just kind of slides down in and slips out. And then you open the plastic like this. And then you've got really stinky brushes. They smell terrible right now. They smell like glue. So they have a really strong glue smell right now. So hopefully after I've washed them, because I'm going to wash them before I use them. After I've washed them, maybe the glue smell will go away. But we've got quite a few brushes in here. We have a 213 eye shading brush. I'll pull them all out and show them to you. We have the 213 eye shading brush, which looks like that. We have a spoolie, which is called the 201 Brow and Lash Brush. So there's that one. Then we have the... 229 tapered blending brush. Luxie brushes like this color right here are actually really good usually, so I'm hopeful that these will be good. Then we have a flat shader. So we have a 221 flat definer. So this one will be good for like lash work and stuff like that. Then it looks like a lip brush. Yeah, we have a little lip brush. So here's what the actual thing looks like. And then you pull it and then it snaps together like that so you can do your lip product. So if you have like a lip palette, it works really good for that. Or if you just want to smooth in your lips this will be really good then we have the 532 round top blender Ugh, it smells really strong oh my gosh it's so soft though it's super super soft i think i might have one almost like this brush then we have oh my gosh come out of there the 522 tapered highlighting brush i know i have one of these but it's never you can never have too many brushes in my opinion they're always good to have extras so that one's really cool. And then the last one in here is the 680 Pro Precision Face Brush. So it's like a flat brush so you can do foundation with it or if you wanna do cream contour or something like that. So there's what it looks like. So I'm excited about all of those because I do like Luxie brushes. Just those gold ones were like an exception to the rule. They're not the rule. So they're just the exception because for some reason those were just not good. And I don't know if it's because they were specially made for BoxyCharm. And these pink ones are not specially made for BoxyCharm. These are actually made for that they sell on the Luxie website. So the next thing I have is ooh, a palette. So we have a protege palette and it's by Suva Beauty. I think, ooh, I dropped it. I think you got to pick this. I'm pretty sure. So here's what it looks like on the inside. There's what the palette looks like. And it says it's cruelty free on the back and it's got a 12 month expiration made in the USA. So I'm excited about trying this out. So it looks like it's a really pretty palette. I love eyeshadow palettes. I, this color here is really calling to me, the aesthetic and the structure. Structure looks really pretty as well. So that's like a purplish gray. So I'm excited about trying this out. I forgot to tell you guys the price of the brushes too. So let's go to this little card here. The brushes that we just checked out, the Rose Gold Complete Face Brush Set is $65. That's a lot of money for brushes. But if they're good, then, I mean, we didn't pay $65 for them. We paid $50 for the whole box. So now the Suva <clears throat> Protégé Palette 
It says Suva's Beauty's new Protégé palette is a versatile, warm, and cool toned palette featuring six highly pigmented shimmer and matte shadows, two brilliant highlighters. It says the value is $34. So you've got some matte, you've got shimmers, and you've got two highlights. Your two highlights are on the end here. So this is a matte, a matte, a matte, and a matte. So you've got, uh, that one's got a little bit of a shimmer in it. It's got like a little bit of sparkle mixed into it. So it's like matte with a little bit of sparkle. These two are more shimmers. So we'll have to try this out together. Do you guys want to do a get ready with me using all the products that came in this box? You'll have to let me know because that might be fun. The next thing, I saw one more thing down in here it looks like. Oh, wow. Oh, two more things. Oh my goodness. There's a lot in this box. Three more things. Oh my gosh. So the first thing is the Tarte Tardis Shimmering Lip Paint. And this is in the shade Insta Famous. So let's see what this looks like. Ooh, that's really pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Let's do a little swatch of that. That would look good on my lips right now, I think. Oh, that's really pretty. It reminds me, for some reason, it reminds me of Tinkerbell from, like, Peter Pan. Let's see what this looks like on the lips. Let's put a little bit on here. Oh, it's got a lot of sparkle in it. Oh, it's really pretty. What do you guys think? It looks very pretty. That would be one that I would keep in my purse just because it's like a very simplistic color. It's not much color to it. It's basically just putting some sparkle on your lips, give, making them look a little bit more magical. So this is the Glitter Lip Paint. The sheer lip gloss is infused with shimmering glitter and delivers a luscious, multi-dimensional, and high shine finish. The reflective glitter gives your lips a fuller, wow, sunflower seed wax fuller look while the sunflower seed wax and mineral pigments coats soothe and soften your lips $20 so and that's typically the price that you're going to pay for a lip product from Tarte like on Ulta or Sephora so I know they're not telling us lies these are prices that are actually values that that are true the next thing is another palette I can't believe it we have two palettes in here how in the world did they manage to cram two palettes in this box that's pretty crazy and this is an expensive palette I think I have this palette but I'll have to double check my collection this is the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Holy Grail one, I think. Yep, Holy Grail. So I'm pretty sure I have this one. If I do, then I'll just set this one to the side for like a future giveaway. Uh, let's see. What it looks like here. I should go in my drawer and see if I have it. I'll have to do that later. Oh my gosh, I can't get it out. Come out of there. Okay, I got it. It's like super holographic almost, the palette is. The palette itself is really pretty. Um, yeah, this looks really familiar. I think I do have this one. So there's what the colors look like. They're very pretty and very... Violet Voss shadows are really, really good. I know they started selling them at Sephora for a very good reason because the shadows are very, very nice. I know Violet Voss has collaborated with some other different YouTubers and those were really good as well. So I'm hopeful that I do have this so that maybe I can pass this along to one of you guys because I think that would be a nice little thing to pass along to you if you don't or have never tried the Violet Voss brand. So this was, let's see, Violet Voss Pro Holy Grail Palette. Indulge in 20 highly pigmented eyeshadow shades ranging in a finish from creamy matte to bold metallic and a silky satin. This vegan, whoops, stuck to a sticker. This vegan cruelty-free formula is created with finely milled pigments, making for a smooth application and easy blending. So I had it backwards. I'm trying to show it to you guys backwards. So there's what it looks like again. And this palette is $45. So it's a nice price tag on that palette. So that would be a good gift to give away, like I said, if I do already have that. So I will double check my collection. And if I do, then you'll see that in a future giveaway. The next and last thing is from... Grande Mascara, the Lash Boosting Formula. Whoa, I think this is a pretty expensive brand. The packaging to this feels like, or looks like, almost like, I don't know, like brushed metal or something. It's really interesting. So there's what it looks like. I am I gonna have to try this out because I love me some good mascara. And if this is one that actually helps your lashes grow, count me in. This is the extreme length and volume while promoting healthier lashes with your new Grande Mascara infused with a lash-loving blend of peptides Panthenols, natural waxes, its buildable water resistant formula is easily removable to prevent lash breakage while keeping the lashes flexible and strong. $25 for this eye, for this mascara. So it's a pretty pricey mascara. Let's see what the actual wand looks like. It's nothing real fancy. It just looks, seems like a typical wand. So I'll have to see how the formula is. And it doesn't smell like anything. Sometimes mascaras can smell really gross. And other times I've had mascaras and they smell very flowery. So you never know what you might get. So that is everything in my box. I love 
everything in here. Honestly, I feel like this was totally worth the $50 because I don't know what the value is here. I'll have to grab my phone and see if we can add it up quick. So let's add her up quick so we can know together because I think that would be good to know. So we've got $89 for the Elemis Cream. We've got $20 for the Tarte Lip Paint. We've got $45 for the Violet Voss Palette. We've got $34 for the Suva Beauty Palette. We've got $65 for the Luxie Brushes. We've got $20 for the Spongel. We've got $25 for the Grande Mascara. We've got $32 for the Pretty Vulgar Powder. And then we've got $22 for the wristlet and the charger. So we're at $352 is what everything in this box is valued at. So I think they did good. They did real good in my opinion. Even like if I have, because I think I have that palette, I'm still happy with this because that's something that I can pass along to one of you guys and that you can try it out. So if you don't get this box or you don't have that palette, then you can try it out to see how you like the Violet Voss brand. So just stay tuned for that in a future giveaway if I do in fact have that in my collection behind me. But other than that, that is my review and then my preview because I will be doing a review on all these products next month so that we there we can talk about the value of the items and whether or not I feel like they actually work for me and those brushes that they continue to smell like glue. I don't like that so far. That's something that's not impressing me so much. This lip is really impressing me. I'm hoping that lash mascara helps my lashes out because I do have more sparse lashes. So that might be something really interesting to try out. The Elemis seems exciting because Elemis is a really good expensive skincare brand. The Pretty Vulgar Powder seems like it's going to be nice and the Powder Puff is really cute. So other than that, I'm excited about trying all these out. If you get the Boxy Lux as well, let me know. Did you get the same things I got? Did everybody get the same thing? I have no idea, honestly. And then also, did you enjoy your box? Do you think it's worth the $50? I think it totally is. It really, really is. I think it's a really good box. Anyway, let me get, let me know your opinions, guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.